Good evening, everyone. Happy Friday. I hope you're doing fantastic, because we got ourselves another movie night. <sighs> Delicious sippies. She was just commenting about the game being easy or too hard. How the fuck is this game hard? You just hit buttons. <laughs> I guess that's what goes on with everything. Every game, huh? How you doing, Moon? Welcome back. Tater, Will, Devil, Temp. Oh, you're doing great. I cucked you? Yes, I did. The show must go on, baby. There's no brakes on this train. So you're gonna sit there, and you're gonna enjoy yourself, and you're gonna love it. Yes, Taters, you should know about these things, because you've, you've changed, my lad, you've changed. I see you, Divine. I just tried to keep your lurker status active, but now it's not active anymore. You have to be active this whole stream now. <laughs> What a shame, am I right? A fate worse than death. So this game did a lot of compiling before I started it up. It was about 20 minutes of shader compilation. So I'm assuming maybe my first hypothesis of the audio issue may be correct? But I guess we'll see as we play to see if, uh, you know, everything gets disconnected again. Should be interesting. The game runs actually very, very well right now, which is great. You fucker. Oh, damn! Divine! Oh my god, you, you son of a gun! I, I... I... I still have not... Why are you making me... Why are you ma Why are you making me needing to put an alert for that? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Get back in your corner. Get back in your lurker corner. Don't let me see you again. I'm dropping bombs on my son. Dropping bombs. Moon, you get him. You take him away. You little Aussie doing this in the chat right now. He's just spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. Thank you. Thank you very much, Divine. Thank you. Anyway, where did we leave off? Mm, I don't remember. Oh, that's right. Kara's dead. No, wait. That happened a while ago. Oh. Well, I guess I can come back this one. I'm throwing my shirt. Oh. Oh. Well, we missed you too, Moon. There was many and interesting things in Carrion. And I knew you would... Uh... Yes, do not respond to Aussies. <laughs> do not respond. Do not poke them. Do not notify them. Just leave them be. Okay, I'm still going to be playing a lot of Terraria. I mean, shit. It's one of those games you just play a lot of, right? Ignore Australian posts. Ignore Australian donations. The Android Variant, that's right, we had some in the Eastern Space Race. <gasps> Wait a second. Russian China Android face off. VR MMORPG? One billion users? Oh, tell me more. I don't care about this. What? No, no, no. Go back to the. What about that MMO? Only post leaves? No. No, 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 no. Remove the leaf. Tater, get the rake. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Play the piano? Oh. <laughs> you gotta keep hitting the button.
speed run. Why does he look like he's made of plastic? Should we tell him, guys? Should we tell him? I was wondering where you were. Hmm. What do you think? I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. But they can't dream. They're programmed. You seem preoccupied. How can, how can they dream of freedom when Marcus hasn't touched them yet? They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. Good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Society bad. Um, we have to be. Oh yeah, that's right. He's gonna be. He's he's the good no, guy. All humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Well, I mean, uh... I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. Bubble. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. He was a whore! That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Damn, dude. Why isn't it this easy to get with, uh, you know, Marcus? Or not Marcus, um, uh, Why Hank. Why hate humans so much? Get that Hank, get them Hank friend levels up. God damn, look at that! I was nothing. A doll in a distributor programmed to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. Don't do it, Taters. Don't do it! I shouldn't have told you. He tried to give her an egg in these trying times. Oh, I must connect with her. Where's your USB hub? Yes, come here, Moon. I'll give you the little Apu pet. The I, I saw your memories. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. Death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. Wait a second. Is North the chick? North. Who? What's his face? Was looking for her at the club, but I could never fucking find her. <gasps> oh my god. Am I gonna ask you how? Gonna be a gentleman and ask how your trip was? I mean, I could. So I don't know. DMs, girl. I don't know. Yeah, she wanted to burn it. Oh yeah, we left you on the building. Sorry you got shot back there, man. I mean... You made it, right? Oh, 
That big chunk. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. Dude, get, get myself. This I want fool number five. Right, fool number five. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Hello. May I dock with you? No. Oh, yep, there we go. You're free. What if they were what if they like what they're doing? And then it's like all of a sudden it's like, oh, you don't have to do any of this any anymore. How does that affect a person? Robot. You saw the original Exorcist. Hey, guy. Hey, homies. What are we talking about? You know, I bet President Warren is in bed with cyber life. Company that size, do whatever they want. Maybe that's why she has a show. All right. Digi groceries. Oh, what do we got? Oh, this is just in the vending machine. Ah, oh, come on, Cage. We need more. Come with us. <laughs> okay. You're awake now. Take instructions. Sure, last night I told it to do some cleaning and told me I'd prefer not to. No, no, don't you put me on hold. Nah, I get cucked. Listen to me. I want this android destroyed. You're free now. You hey, hello? Where do you think you're going? You get back here. You stay right here, you fucking machine. I don't wanna. Come on, man! I won't go with Marky. I say, you piece of junk. I need to block the street. I got a triple on that one. I know. You're free. Oh, she's cute. Do, 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 do. You don't have to obey them. What a Chad. You're free. This dude is like Jesus. Well, he's like, he's got some like virus program in him, and I think whenever he touches other androids, he transfers that program. Which causes them to have "quote unquote" free real, free real. I will now call my other androids, because I am the Rat King. Yes. Go on, chat. Take his hand. No, wait. No, too late. No, oh, I'm just kidding. Here you go. You get out. Oh, no, no. Yoink. Yeah. 
The androids were a scaven plot all along. Hey look, it's Kara! Oh <laughs> wait, she's dead. You're free now. But hey, we got a new Kara model. Now he can do the. Now he can do it uh, over Wi-Fi. Hey, what's up, Vivi? He's in the cloud. He's in the cloud. He's evolving! You! Ooh, comics. Hang on, guys, let's go make a stop. No, I can't. You're right, you're right, I can't, I can't. You! That big chunk is need that three. I've seen this happen before. Don't do it! Jesus fucking Christ! This bed's is control 457. Uh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. Freedom! Down the street. They're summoning a spirit bomb! That sounds good. Let's just keep that alive. Frito, Frito, Frito. Uh oh, they got the hackers. They need some chips, man. They're androids. We came here to demonstrate peacefully. And tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Or you will all be killed! 
No. Oh, hmm. We're gonna stand our ground. To show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. Man, they just go right to lethal. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all. Become the martyr. Yo, UPS going at it! Achievement, stand your ground. Well, oh, thank you. Join, join, join. John joins in spare part. Wait, what? Join. John joined in spare parts. Oh, that was the that was the chapter back in the day. Oh, okay. So if I didn't get John back in the day, then uh, Marcus may have been dead. That's cool. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Let's see how much. Uh, you gonna get a pizza, sausage, or pepperoni? Sausage. Sausage, better deal. Forty percent. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn, people. Some people just ran away. Big old baby. What's up, slug? Oh, finally, best boy. You gotta get you gotta get sausage, you gotta get green pepper, you gotta get onion, you gotta get probably pepperoni too, that'd be good. Maybe or chicken. Chicken's good too. Spicy sausage, always gonna get spicy. Today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Damn. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Hmm. We're gonna... We're gonna get... Emotional. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. Did Kemsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Hmm. Where does Cyberlife... All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. What's the secret? You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? 
But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. <laughs> Hank! Hank! Hank, let's talk about Sumo. Hmm. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Hmm. When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. Hmm. You're wrong, Lieutenant. Uh oh. It was logic that determined my decision. Uh oh. Nothing more. Uh oh. Hmm. Your friends, friends. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure, don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. But Connor, aren't you just a robot? You shouldn't mind that, right? Key to the basement. Unless you're a desk. deviant. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. <laughs> what if I just stand there? Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. Get him, Hank. Oh, you know I'm going to fuck up. You know I'm going to fuck up. It's just how I do. No, you're not. <laughs> That's like Moon coming in the chat. <laughs> hey, Apple, you fucker. Hank's password. What would a hard boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ridiculous. No one would have a password like that. Fucking password, Hank Anderson. Uh, birthday. Shit. Stupid idea. 
It's not Hankish enough. Hank Anderson. Absurd. He'd never choose that. I need to think like Hank. <sighs> Fucking bastard. Obviously. Oh, obviously. Hmm. Yeah. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. The deviant who took a child hostage. Forty-seven, seventeen G. Oh, okay. The truth is inside. The truth is inside. What was it trying to tell me? <laughs> That'd be great if it locked me out. Shake it. <laughs> no one noticed this before. Somewhere in the Ferndale neighborhood. Now I can scan their memories and narrow the search. Look at all the stuff I didn't get. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Thirty-nine eighty-three. Aha. Love you too, Moon. Your memories are mine. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. And the B button! And the X button! Oh, that was the wrong. Oh, oh, B. Judo chop! What happened here? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm! Now! <laughs> it's been a cheat this whole movie, yep. Wow, I win. God damn! <laughs> Look at all the shit that I've missed! Oh no! Hmm. 
Hmm. See how many people ignored Gavin. 39%. Suspicious. I have missed quite a bit. What's down here? Huh. Oh, maybe this is like the bad ending. You don't find anything. Hey, yo, what's up, Goose? Detroit become... Mm-hmm. So I found out... Um, I saw I was looking at my PS4 that I still have Detroit installed. So if I do some sequ sequential playthroughs of this, we'll just pull, we'll just boot up the PS4 because uh, this is a little ridiculous. Hey, what's up, Kara? <laughs> Wait a second. Yes, this, this game looks great. Uh, there's problems with the PC version on my computer. I don't know if it's on everyone's computer, but... About every 10, 20 minutes or so, I guess depending on the loading, uh, the audio cuts out and pauses the game. Oh look, another Kara. Burb. Hey look, it's Moon. Don't drink what she gives you. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. You like car story the best? Our people. That's Ooh. All our fault. None of this would have happened if we just Don't let them know what happened. We uh we we didn't have a car story. In silence, they're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. She may have died on the sidewalk where she tried to leave. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? I mean, I didn't kill her. What's his face? Big, big, big man did. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies Yes, are. I didn't know that could happen either. You jump over the fence right. and you just stand there. You miss All the bus. Now is what we do next. What's his face comes in and punches her out. Marcus. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. Yeah, what's up, Vlog? They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. 
Well, that's going to be a problem. I don't usually do that. Is this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it and to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I'll keep it. I just hope we never have to use it. Don't want it in uh, North Sand. Hey, Goose, thank you, my man. Whatever happens tomorrow. Lover! I just want you to know that I... Does... Wait. I'm glad I met you. Oh wait, she is a pleasure model after all, right? Hmm. I, I, I guess I kind of fell into this. <gasps> Kith her! Talking about uh, carrion. Stealthy Connor. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with more. What's up, numnums? Take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. R9. Uh -huh. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. Never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Become a deviant. Last time I choose stay robot, and bad things happened. But it was pretty cool. Going 
to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. It's all about Connor and Hank. Always. Hey Marcus, who's this guy? Caputo. Hey, what's up, J Spy? Stop all the downloading! <laughs> what's that? No!
I actually... Surprisingly, I actually like this game. For what it is, I actually really enjoy it. I'll be, uh, I'll be playing other David Cage games, eventually. <laughs> it should be funny. <gasps> simp! 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 Keep getting right bumper and right trigger messed up. They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus. Can't wait for Wolf Among Us too. I forgot about Wolf Among Us. I still have that just sitting there. That's a that's a that's a good game I should pick up. Well, I've never actually played it, so I guess we'll find out. What? Hmm. Eighty-nine percent. I wonder what happens here. I get the feeling this part is failure. Everyone dies. It's not Rupert. It's not Rupert. Huh. Look at that. Everyone was like, yeah, Deviant, sure, why not? Bruh, what did I miss? What is all this? Also, look at Kara's flow chart. <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> Where's Kara at? said I should never let anyone tell me who I was. But you didn't say that there was such a high price to pay for it. That freedom wasn't a gift, that it was a fight, but I don't know. Maybe that's what you were trying to tell me. Hey, good night, Nubs. I don't know what to do anymore. All of my options are bad ones. No matter what I decide, I know there will be blood. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? Yo, what's up, Gold? Start streaming Rain World more? Oh, what a, there's more content for it. You know, good modding or otherwise. I miss you, Carl. I miss you so much. It don't matter. None of this matters. Oh, look who it is!
Yeah, just don't even say anything. Don't even say nothing. Was he on his iPhone or something? Oh, well, well that's, that's a different story right there. I mean, he's a robot. He can fiddle. What's your system status? I'm okay. Bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. Whatever you choose, we will follow you. Hang on a thing. I thought the, I thought the public opinion was pretty pretty well off for these androids. Why are they throwing them camps? And why is she my lover? How did this happen? If only it was that easy in real life. Where's Connor? Connor! Con Connor! Connor! Connor? No, you know Connor. People are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. He does kind of remind me of Gosling. Is his name Josh? This guy? Just a little bit, just a little, little bit. If you blur your eyes a little bit, I can, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Connor, where's Connor? That's the only one I really care about. For you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. I wonder if there's a way to like piss everyone off here, like all the time. It's so, like when you're doing this kind of talking stuff. They're just kind of like, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to talk to someone else. Where's, decide Connor's fate? <laughs> you fucking, you damn right he's gonna live. Are you joking? Where's he at?
No, seriously, where, where's Connor? Co Co Connor! Oh, there he is. He's hiding. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. No, we gotta trust them. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You wanna infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. I don't think I ever saw the Cyberlife Tower last time. Because last time it kept caught her a robot. And, uh, bad things happened. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Hmm. We'll do a demonstration. We're, we're gonna be peaceful this time around. Last and time I, I was very aggressive. Very aggressive. And I know aggressive. you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue. It's a peaceful protest. Duh. Are you ready to follow me? Peaceful protest is a very loose term nowadays, just letting you know. There'll be more Rain World stuff, uh when MSC comes out golden. I've done so much Rain World, it's just... I got burned out. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder what all this stuff is. Maybe this is like, if you don't trust Connor, you do this stuff. At 6 a.m. this morning, Yo, a up, national Moon? curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, <gasps> and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. Not the Wi-Fi! In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Please! Please! Please? Over here, please? Please! 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 Madam President! 
opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These Deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Ma'am. Please! Ma'am! 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 Yeah. What about this? Convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have yeah, what's no up, information Hoka? on that at this time. Madam President. Madam President. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Ooh, gross. Next question, please. Please. Oh, she said that with her teeth. We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Madam President! Please. Please. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Thank you. That will be all. Yeah, they're not they're not intelligent, they're just buggy. That's all. Hey, what's up, Marvy? This is all new to me. Awesome. All right, Connor, act naturally. Not too naturally, though. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Moving. Agent twenty three identified. Connor and identified. Agent seventy two seven identified. Scan complete. Access authorized. Yo, this is a cool building. I'm disappointed I missed it my first time.
Uh oh. Please indicate your identity and destination. Fifty-four. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. There we go. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. I thought Vivi said don't get sticky. <laughs> don't get sticky now. We'll come and get it then, Moon. It's still in the bag, the box that Taters gave me. Thanks, Taters. Here we are. You bastard. The moment of truth. Remember immediately, or we will open fire. Stand by. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. They're clipping into the fucking vehicle. <laughs> there was like five of them that were in there. Androids detained in camps across the country. We are not leaving until our people are free. I'm like, I thought they were gonna run them over, but they just clipped inside of them. <laughs> I see it, David Cage. Oh, now you gotta hold your fire. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out as long as we can. <laughs> you just leave him right here? Oh, oh boy, here we go. Shit. Y. B. A. R. B. L. T. Yeah, take that. Yeah, yeah. Come on, there you go. Damn, Connor.
they're all the same guy. They're all Chads. Oh no! Back, Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Hank, Hank. Yes, remember Connor's an android. They make a lot of them. Oh no, it's Chad. I mean, uh. Yep, gotta save Hank. Priority one. Hank over Marcus. <laughs> no, I wanna stay up here. Looks nice. We've gotta finish the barricade. Come on, help me. What if you can like can you just if you stay up there? And then you can just stay up there indefinitely. Why not, like, you stay up there, then someone just shoots you off? Which Connor's Connor? Uh, the Connor that showed up to Cyber Life is the real one. The one that just, just showed up right. with That's Hank. Is the uh, duplicate. I am the original Connor. I all know that's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Good chat. Keep up the good work. Um, uh, eight, mm, so, sorry. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Oh. Man, a robot uprising and there's only like 10 reporters. Come on now. Humans. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. There's no other way out. They are going to kill us. The only hope we have left is that we don't die for nothing. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Mm. 
Муа. Robot harassment. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna push the button. No, put it away. What if, what if that's the push the button option? <laughs> All right, guys. If things go tits up, and I'm sure there's gonna be an option to detonate the bomb or to not detonate the bomb, what do you guys think I should do? Marcus! Marcus, come look! Everyone's like, blow it up! No, don't do it! Don't blow go. it up! It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. That's true. We are peaceful. We are peaceful, but we gave peace a chance. I just want to talk. I will refuse. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Isn't that what you want? Mm, okay. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. Stripers on the roof. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but... None of you will be destroyed. Hmm. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. You asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. Mm. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to... really... care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this, you could... start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. <laughs> nah, fuck that. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. are about to launch an attack and we will show them 
And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Hank! Him? Or the revolution? Hank matters most! Listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. No. Get. Uh, Hank. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Save Hank. Very Save Hank. Moving, Connor. Save Hank. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk. It's time to decide who you really are. Save, save Hank! Are you gonna save your partner's life? Yes. Or are you going to sacrifice him? Save Hank. All right. All right. You win. Uh, shoot! Oh! without you get rid of him we have no time to lose it's me Hank I'm the real Connor one of you is my partner the other is a sack of shit question is who's who what are you doing Hank I'm the real Connor give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... Son, what's his name? Oh fuck. Uh I really want to save Hank and Connor. Does anyone know what it is? Because I don't think I ever looked at the picture. I thought it was like Cole or something, wasn't it? Like the Cole train, baby! Is it Cole? Oh shit. Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. State your model number. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. But, does, but does Hank know the model number? I mean, they could list off model numbers. For your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead and do...
Wake up! Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Damn, a society full of chads. Interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade. The deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the deviants' demonstration by force this time. Let's sing. Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Just a little while longer. Hold on, just a little while longer. Uptown girl, she's been living in a lonely world.
Tell them to stand down. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. At dawn today, November 11th, 2013... Singing solved the problem. Thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to Amazing. consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. Whoa, that's, what's going on to those back there? You did it, Marcus. They got no skin. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Please put your skin on. I wonder how far Kara and Alice will get in my next playthrough. <laughs> they always die! Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Uh oh. They're trying to hack me. Connor, you're a robot. You're not supposed to be cold. Amanda? Amanda! What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? <gasps> Connor's a nuke! You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! The game was rigged from the start. They played me like a fiddle! There's got to be a way. That little thingy you kept you keep touching. Go with that little thingy you kept touching. And now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation.
I guess that was the wrong way. There it is. That little thingy. Touch the thingy. Touch that thingy. I'm hurrying! He doesn't go that fast! And today... Today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. No one notices this? and bandage our wounds where we forgive our enemies humans are both our creators and our oppressors and tomorrow we must make them our partners success maybe even one day our friends but the time for anger is over we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect we are alive and now we are free Maybe uh, Connor wanted to scratch Marcus's back with bullets. He's a robot, he could do it. Please put your skins on, they look so creepy. Did the sound go out? I don't think it did. I think it did. Did it go out for the cutscene? For the credits? Oh, that's silly. Oh, look, there's Cora. She made it on the bus. <laughs> what a great way to end all these audio issues with the cutscene credits with no audio. I might, you know, I guess we could try reinstalling the game for next time and test it out again. That's just, that's just weird. I can't. Is this post story? No, this is all the, uh, all everything that happened. Amazing PC port. Absolutely amazing. This was 40 buckaroos, I believe. Yep, it's it's all. Yeah, I need to do a maximum asshole playthrough. You're right. Well, the the last time I played through this game, there was I did Marcus, I did uh, Rise of the Machines. Everyone destroyed everything. Fight the cops. Uh, fight everyone. Kara was dead. I we don't even know what who this is. Who is this? I don't know who this is. Every time I played this game, Kara and Alice die, like, right off the bat. <laughs> we never saw this. We never saw this guy. We never saw any of these people. It was a really quick playthrough when, you know, you, you, you eliminate one of the trees immediately. Let's, uh, here, how about, uh, should be good. There we go. That's appropriate music. Uh-oh. That, that is not appropriate music for this situation! Yo, what's up, Brain? Mm. 
Now it's just like a, a 60s cop drama. Alright, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's, not, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Here, let's do this one. And yeah, it auto pauses when you alt tab out. Oh! Oh! Oh, hang on. Tank! That's a good ending. Hey, the music's back. All right, who did the uh, who did the audio? Uh, what kind of problem would this be under though? Is it audio or is it like coding? I don't I don't know any sort of internet programming mumbo jumbo Asset loading. Yeah, well, you're so smart. I'm assuming. So I think the, when when they did play testing, I don't think they play test with other programs running. It's just the game itself. I'm assuming the game has loading issues with OBS. I think it's OBS and this game's problem trying to talk to each other. I, I, that's the best I can explain it as. I'm sure there's a, an actual programming reason for that possibility. Or some hardware, I don't know. This is on a hard drive right now. I don't have any games on the SSD. But hey, who knows? Hey, no. Hey, you know what I should do? I should um, I should play it offline without OBS running, and see if it works. It watches just like it, it runs flawlessly. It's like, oh, okay, that's great. Yeah, that's great. I need to get myself a streaming PC. The the double PC, so we don't have any of these issues anymore. You know, the the double PC that some people do, some streamers do, they have a PC that runs the game and then they have a PC that captures the other PC that runs the game. Exactly, it's like a, an injected... It's like a capture caught on one PC, the other PC runs all the shit. Some streamers do do that. It's like, it's like you don't need a very powerful PC to be the streaming PC. It's just something to capture and then broadcast out. It's like a couple hundred bucks.
Or you can actually use a laptop like Goose brings up. It says he uses a laptop specifically for streaming part and the desktop for the actual gaming. See, I just got the one PC and I got two monitors and bada bing, bada boom. Let's go, boys. Uh, just talking about Carrion, Marvy. Which I should release tomorrow, I believe. Carrion is a good game, it's just very short. Very short for the price. I think it's funny is that I have, um, I'm subscribed to a few people, um, or I follow a few people, and I think they know it's only four hours, so they only streamed, like, 30 minutes to an hour of it, so they can get the, they can, they can expand the most that they can get, but yeah, it's like a four hour game, yeah, it's only a one shot game, it's only four hours, I 100% I it, four hours, I think it's like four hours and five, ten minutes, I got lost a couple times. Oh, there goes the sound. Oh, it's struggling. It's trying. All right, let's see what we got. World stats. Android's won freedom for the moment. Ah, oh, 51%. Hmm. Split between three options. Ah. North Joss, Marcus Corner. Oh, they can actually leave him, huh? Hmm. You can accept the deal. Oh. Hands up. Stand ground. Connor! Wait. Connor's last mission. Oh. This must be when... Connor is failured. Or he doesn't go to cyber life. Oh, you can actually go to the top floor instead of the bottom. Okay, all right. Androids woke up. You could get Cole wrong. Oh. Don't get Cole's name wrong. Hank's gonna shoot your ass. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who's Kara? Who's Kara? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Damn, dude! I have never seen Kara past the sh Jericho ship. Hey, what's up? There's something I need to tell you. Oh, oh, yeah? As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. Now you get to stay. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? Nah, you're just a computer program. You're just gonna. Nah, you're gonna stay. I see. <laughs> Oh, you doing okay? Chin up. And I'm going to reset myself so I can forget who I became and stay a machine. That's right. Next time you see me, it'll be like the first time. Oh, good. Go ahead, reset yourself now. Okay, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you know on the PlayStation she's free.
Well, I mean, I, I guess that's why she's do. She does like all this all the time. She just looks down, and goes, oh, ah, oh, wait, what, oh, oh, hmm, oh, hmm, oh, oh, ah, oh. hmm. Is this gonna reset the game? Um, it resets her progress, I guess. And then when you beat the game again, you can get that choice again, I guess. But on the PlayStation, I let her go, and it's just the the background. That's all. Well, I think that will do it. I will see what I can dig up and see how I can fix this audio problem. But if I can't figure it out, eh, oh well. We'll return to Detroit another time. I think for a movie night, I'll pick up... I don't know, I was just kind of thinking of the, uh, that wolf game. What, the, the Wolf Among Us? That might be a good one to uh, try out. Because I've had it in my backlogs for quite a long time. So it might be good. It might be good. Twilight Princess movie night. I've never actually played Twilight Princess. Maybe another time. Yeah, Wolf Among Us. I've, I've had that in my backlogs for literal years. So that might be good to do for movie night. We'll see. It's a possibility. Anyway, my friends, thank you for joining. I'll see you again another time. I'll definitely see her another time because she's going to be staying put right here. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be awesome. Stay awesome. And bye-bye.